In this video, we're going to be going over the top five problems on this first generation Dodge Journey. Now there's nothing wrong with this vehicle, there's nothing wrong with buying one or owning one. Every vehicle has their problems, these are the problems that we have found. Number one, the heater core. The first thing you're going to notice is your heat doesn't work as well as normal. It may not work at all or it may just be warm and not hot enough. So the heater core goes through the firewall and into the cab of the vehicle, into the heater box, heater air conditioning box. And there's two coolant pipes that go to it. Those come off the engine to get warm coolant. Now after a while, you have some sediment that's in the coolant system that actually starts plugging up the heater core. When that happens, there's no flow of coolant and that causes no heat. Now in some cases, you could actually flush out that heater core, take off those hoses, hook up a garden hose, flush out some of that sediment. Normally, it's only a temporary fix. Now to do this the correct way, you have to remove the entire dash. You have to take the steering wheel out of your way, take the whole upper dash out, the lower dash, any of the electricals, all the radio and stuff, and then get to the heater box itself and take the heater box out. And because the AC evaporative core is part of the heater box, you're gonna have to recover the AC and then recharge it afterwards. So to do this job, it's pretty involved. Number two, the throttle body. Some of the symptoms you may notice is a high idle or a rough idle and a check engine light with a code P2112 or P2110. Now you may think that you could just clean the throttle body, but in this case, it's not gonna fix the problem. It's internal to the sensors and the motor. It's gotta be replaced. Number three, the key fob. The first symptom you may notice is the vehicle doesn't start or the door locks don't work. Now, if you have another remote, try the other remote. If you don't, chances are it's just the battery. So if you replace the battery, you should be good to go. Number four, the thermostat. The thermostat housing is located right here. Now when you go to replace it, you're gonna replace the thermostat and the housing together as one piece. Um, some of the symptoms you may notice when you have a bad thermostat is you have no heat, again. So don't get confused with a bad heater core with a bad thermostat. And then also, most of the time you'll get a check engine light with an engine code P0652. One way to tell if it's a thermostat or a heater core that's plugged up. If you watch the temperature gauge, if it's not where it normally sits, normally it will probably sit right in the middle and you may notice it about a quarter way up or not even up at all. Number five, the windshield wiper relay. So if you notice that your windshield wipers don't come on and off at some time, it could be the relay. What you wanna do is come out here, take this cover off, and then there's two wiper relays right here. This is the wiper relay that turns the wiper motor on and off, and this is the one for speed. So if you find that the speed control doesn't work, it could be that relay. If you find they don't come on, it's gonna be that one. Now what, what's kinda cool about this is these are the same part number. So if they're not coming on, you could swap them and see if, they, see if that actually makes them come on. If the other way around, if your speed control, you can't really swap them. You're just gonna have to get a new relay to try that one. But that might save you some time and money. So those are the top five problems that we have found with this Dodge Journey. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring that bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.